go, but they are as determined, as competitive, and what a lot of great action they've provided in the intervening years. They're just about 20 pounds heavier than they were eight years ago. Right hand scored by Leonard. And Hearn says, yeah, you got me, no problem. It could develop into a problem. Hearns can be hit with right hands. Hearns seems a little tight. You know, Emmanuel Stewart says that's going to be the key. If Tommy can take Leonard's punch and come back. The looping overhand right by Leonard you just saw, something he's been working on in training. seconds of round one. Eight years later at Caesars Palace, a long-awaited rematch. Most thought would never happen. And we're underway. Right. You said you guys with him. Uh, he ain't not as fast as Lon. Mm -hmm. You understand? He's not as fast as Lon. He's drinking a little. Okay, he's looking good. People are going to start pumping his hands a little bit more now, okay? Because you're breaking up his long tackles. Everything set him up. Beautiful. You heard Manny you Stewart. You everything you can do in that round, just about you can do. You saw it. Yeah, low and keep moving. Go. He's going to go for every fight you make. But i got to have that one, two at him. All right? See if we can do it off a double stick. That's Pepe Correa has replaced Angelo Dundee in the corner of Sugar Ray Leonard. Dundee given great credit for his work in the first fight. And Leonard was behind on the cards, rallying him, saying, you're blowing it, kid. You're blowing it, son. Good luck. Right. And Leonard rallied to score the 14th round knockout. You know, they're fighting in 90 degree heat, and Manny Stewart was fanning Tommy with a towel, which is not a bad idea. Temperature has dropped to a cool 90 degrees compared to more than 120. And this evening began at 6 p.m. Pacific time in Las Vegas. Round two, scheduled for 12. You know, I'm surprised to see Leonard moving around the way he is then because in the first fight, he gave away the first five rounds with just exactly those tactics, and then he settled down, and he did much better when he fought Flatfoot. That's the way I thought they'd fight the fight. Well, we scored round one on our card for Hearns. Well, you know what's interesting in this fight? You know, both of them go down now, so that's what everybody's waiting for. It's no secret no more. Both have been down, indeed. Suffering knockout defeat at the hands of Iran Barkley and Marvin Hagler, of course. Knocked down by James Kinchin in his last outing before coming on to victory late. A very close call. Leonard knocked down by Donnie Lalonde before stopping him in his last outing. Well, starting off, you can see they look, both of them look very slow. No hand speed like they used to have. One of the bigger men, Marvin. And you can see Leonard throwing big power to the bodies. There's a right to the body from Leonard. That's where he got hers at in the first fight, was to the body. Right hand try by Hearns, high over the shoulder of Leonard. Leonard's waiting for him to try it again with the right hand so he can counter. They look like two fencers at this point in round two, waiting to see the other thrust and then make their own parry back. Right hand just short from Hearns. Had the opening, but Leonard pulled his head back. Well, it got Leonard's attention, Tim. First time I see someone push somebody off the ring and tell them, and tell them good luck. Short again from Hearns on the last right hand. Leonard yeah. missing with a wild left. You know, Leonard is depending on his punching about power, Tim. He's been training that way to hurt guys with every punch. You can see he don't use that hand speed like he had years before. Looking to bomb you with one punch at a time. Which is not the usual Ray Leonard. He gets caught now with that type of tactics. <laughs> Confidently, as again, Leonard short. Jab raised the chin of Hearns. Hearns short. Leonard's having trouble getting by that left hand of Tommy Hearns. He's trying to suck the Tommy in.